This is Surah 25 verse 54. He who has created man from water, he has he established relationship in league of uh, uh, legend and marriage. You know, this verse, if you read it really, it doesn't say uh, a lot. So you will not understand it until you go deep. Now, what this verse saying? Saying Allah, he created man and woman, uh, or like, you know, uh, our seed, like you have kids from uh, water, which means the sperm of a man. And Allah he established relationship only by marriage. Islam don't don't approve any relationship if it's out of marriage. So this is what the verse is about to tell you that Islam will not approve any relationship it, if it is out of if, of marriage. What relationship mean? If my dad he have me by adultery, I will be the son of adultery, not the son of my dad. This is what the Quran is saying. If my dad he is married to my mom and my mom she got a pregnant she got me I am the son of my dad according to this verse if my mom she had sex with my dad without marriage I will be the son of adultery then there is no relationship you see establish ha and then has he established relationship of linked of a marriage which mean a legal marriage a marriage not 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 any not any way there is no other way is approved in Islam so if you are a son of adultery, you cannot claim that you are the son of that man by any way. Even if, even if you are really by blood, like you can prove it, you can have a, a DNA test, you know, still you cannot get your father's last name, your father, and you cannot inherit from your father, according to Islam, the last name, the money, child support. Why? Because you are a son of adultery. Now, what that mean, O2? What it means, it means something scary. Let us go to the explanation of a Qurtubi and we will see how how ugly really is Islam. <clears throat> Al Qurtubi saying the following. This is Al Qurtubi now, you know. This is not me saying what, what I'm going to say now. It's disgusting, but he is the number one Imam in Islamic world and he is explaining up to his prophet. He is saying the Nasab was Sahar Ma'nayan Yamani Kulla di Qurba Baina Adamiyain. You know, the, 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 the marriage, the marriage and the relationship from that marriage is how relation established between all human. There is no relationship and there is no, there is no marriage. So if it is not from marriage, there is no relationship. And he's saying, Qala Ibn al-Arabi, Ibn al-Arabi is one of the biggest reporters of Islam, one of the biggest, the top, you know. Uh, you will see his name everywhere, everywhere you go, <clears throat> and he is approved by all Muslims. So Ibn al-Arabi he said, "An nasabu huwa ibara an khalt al-ma'i bain al-dakar wa al-unth ala wajh al-shara." The nasab he is the mix between a man and a woman water by legal Islamic law, not out of law. If it's out of law, it means this is not approved. Whatever happened out of it, you, you, the woman she get a pregnant, the kid he will not be approved. So it have to be ala wajh shara, which means by Islamic law. If it is not by Islamic law, it's not approved. Then he's saying, so if it's if it if it is in masiya, which means if it is in adultery, this is will be just a creation, no relation, just a creation, no relation, which means you will not be related to your dad if you are a son of that relation. Now. He continues saying, and now who is the one who's saying that? This is Ibn al Arabi. This is one of the biggest scholars who explain all Islamic books, including the Quran. And you will see every Muslim scholar have to go by this guy. Everyone. He said, according to his prophet, because of that, because it's out of legal relationship and not approved by Islam, so it doesn't go, it's not going under. The said of God, حُرِّمَتْ عَلَيْكُمْ أُمَّهَاتُكُمْ وَبَنَاتُكُمْ It's forbidden for you, your women, your, 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 your mothers and your daughters. It's forbidden for you, your mothers and your daughters. Forbidden from what? From, from sex. Which means you cannot marry them. You cannot marry your mom. You cannot marry your daughter. Why? Because you have a relationship to them. The first one is your mom. The second one is your daughter. So, he's saying, because the first case, it is not considered as relationship in Islam so if you have a daughter from is from a woman she is not your wife she is not going under this one this verse this verse who forbid you from having sex with your daughter because that daughter 
who came out of the marriage is not considered as a daughter. So he's saying, لِأَنَّهَا لَيْسَتْ بِبِنْتٍ لَهُ فِي أَصَحِّ الْقَوْلَيْنِ And because she is not a daughter to him, approved by Islam according to the most of Islamic scholar, correct scholar. And the most, وَأَصَحُّ الْقَوْلَيْنِ فِي الدِّينِ The most approved opinion in this case by all the Muslims and the religion. So he's saying, so if there is no relationship by law, by shara', by Islamic law, there is no فَلَا صِهْرًا شَرَعًا فَلَا يُحَرَّمُ الزِّنَا بِبِنْتِ أُمْ وَلَا أُمِّ بِنْتِ And because those girls, this girl, she is your daughter from adultery, so it's not forbidden for you to have sex with her, to have sex with her, because she is not considered as your daughter in Islam. So you can have sex with her, you can enjoy her in the bed, she and her mom, your daughter from your blood and her mom, because she is not your daughter from marriage. As long as she is not approved as a daughter from marriage, you can enjoy her, you can sleep with her, and she is not forbidden for you. And he's saying, and because she is coming from halal, is not going to be forbidden, she is anyway haram. Which means, you know what, this daughter of adultery, she is, she is a whore, you know, and you know, do whatever you want to do with a whore. She's a whore. What a big deal. This is how Islam treat people. You can have sex with your own daughter just because she is a daughter out of the marriage, just because she is not a daughter from a marriage, approved by the religion of Islam, she is not considered as a daughter. And you will see in here three things, four things actually, Allah doing to those poor kids, they are from adultery. Number one, no inherit for last name. Number two, no inherit for money from, their, from the parents because Islam don't approve them as parents for them and don't approve you as a kid for them. Number three, no child support. Number four, in the top of that all, your father, he can have sex with you. You believe it? Is that a religion? I believe not even Satan, he will do such a teaching. And again, this is Al-Qurtubi. This is the official government of Islam. This is not my website. For people who want to see, you see, this is Al Mamlak Al Arabiya Saudiya, Wazarat Al Shaun Al Awqaf. If you go to the English website, you know, go click at English, you will see there the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Here we go. Here we go. You see it? This is the Ministry of Islamic Affair. Ministry of Islamic Affair. So this is not my maid, this is not my claim, and nobody can lie and say this is not true. A Muslim man, he can have sex with his daughter if she is a daughter from adultery. This is a shame in Islam, this is a shame for Allah to say such a thing like this.